Hey guys, how's it going? Doing a quick update. I finally got all my parts back balanced. I got my pistons over here. Four point zero seven zero. So they're one size over. These are Summit, and I got it upside down. Summit Racing six cc dish pistons. So three 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 or sorry three cc dish on the intake and exhaust valve release, and then there's a very slight dish on the actual top of the piston. Really nice forgings. Um, they come with the um, swivel or swirl clips. <clears throat> Some of at least gave me 17 swirl clips because the first one I tried putting on, I ended up uh, mangling. They're quite tough to put on. I ended up getting my uh, fingernails were bleeding underneath my fingernails, the skin, trying to pry those things, those suckers apart to try to get them in there. Uh, all in all, it took me about two hours to get all the clips in. The first one took 15 minutes. The second one took uh, five minutes. And the third one took like a half an hour. You know, it was one of those. And a few of them popped in like in two minutes really easily. It was just one of those days. Anyways, I finally got it all together. Here's one of the rods, Summit Rod. I don't know who makes it. I think it's Scat. Um, they've been all balanced. I could see on the top here he had a little bit of, they took a little bit of material off. Anyway, so I hung all the rods. Onto the pistons and the clips. Um, next thing I'm going to be doing now is gapping the rings. I'm going to go 20 on the top, 22 on the second ring. So it'll be good enough for boost. Some people go way bigger, but I'm not going to put 25 pounds of boost in my engine. And here's my forged steel 4-inch stroke crankshaft, um, which is also balanced. And you can see over here... They took a little bit of material off. They actually just looks like they kind of like filed this down a bit too. Or the guy dropped it. Who the heck knows, you know, these people. Or actually, no, you know what they did there? They actually put, they added weight. <clears throat> they put heavy metal in here. This has actually been weight added. They plugged the hole. And then they took a little bit of it off on this side. And then on the uh, back end, where you got the reluctant wheel, there's a little bit of material taken off. That hole wasn't there before. So now my crank's all dirty. It's got filings all over it. I got to give it a really, really good cleaning with um, tool and parts cleaner spray. You want to get the one that's um, flammable. That's the one that worked properly. There's my double roller timing chain gear on there. I have to go with the balancing job. And there's a pump gear for the oil pump. I uh, ended up scoring a brand new flywheel. Somebody bought a GM powertrain um, LS3 with the automatic transmission and he decided he wanted to go with a stick so he put his flywheel in the paper so I was like what the heck I might as well buy a brand new flywheel for 50 bucks you can't go wrong I had that also balanced and coming down over here here's the harmonic balancer that had to get balanced also and they did drill where is it there's two more holes they had to drill so it was off balance a little bit I bet you it was off by about two grams uh, that's about it. So I got everything together. I'm going to be gapping the rings. And once I get the rings gapped, I'm going to drop the crankshaft in. After I clean it, of course, and put the bearings on and check all the clearances, make sure everything's good. Best way to check the clearances, it would be with a micrometer, caliper, and a, a board gauge. But unfortunately, I don't have one, and I don't feel like spending $300. It's not like I do this every day. I'd like to. It's a lot of fun. So instead, I got the plastic gauge. It's better than nothing. It's a crude way to measure, but at least you have an idea how close you are. And I also got ARP assembly, fastener assembly lubricant, because I have stud, cylinder head studs, and I got a new set of uh, crankshaft main bolts. Um, the crankshaft main bolts are fa GM factory ones. Apparently, you could reuse the old ones, no problem. You just can't use the head bolts. But I figured, you know what? I'm building, I'm investing $5,000 into this motor. You know, if I don't, ha if I could actually buy something that improves it, I'm going to do so. If budget allows, I'm going to go with the better part. Like, I mean, I'm not going to have more than 600 horsepower at the crank. But this assembly here will handle over 1,000, no problem. It's been rated at 1,200. You could probably even take even more. And the reason why I did that is because I am going to go with boost eventually. So that's why I did that. And, you know, if I was, and I was calling, when I talked to Summit Racing and I was going to buy pistons, originally I was, I ordered the Keith Black 
forged aluminum, but there were the other aluminum forging is 40 something, 40, 32. I can't remember exactly what the forging is. Um, they don't expand as much, but they are prone to crack apparently. And those are three cc dishes. So if I went with that and because I milled my heads, I would have had over 12 to 12 and a half to one compression, which is not going to be friendly on pump gas. Around here, the highest octane fuel we have is 94 octane and um, 11 to 1, 11.2 to 1, 11.3 to 1. The way these cylinder heads, the LS3 cylinder heads are designed, they're so advanced that they could handle the extra compression and still run without pinging. And of course, I'm running the Holly Terminator X Max fuel injection system, which is great because I could adjust my timing on the fly, my fuel uh, ratio and everything else. Here's the rod bearings. You can see they took the one out of the package when they did the balancing job from the, the, the upper and the lower bearing. There's actually an upper and a lower that goes onto the rods. That's pretty important to know. Most people slap them on, don't even realizing that. And of course, the rods only go on one way because they have a uh, flat end. This is the flat end, so this would be riding rod to rod, rod to rod. So the passenger side rod and the driver side rod adjoining each other on the journal will be riding on the flat side. And on this side, you got kind of a little fillet. And this side of the rod is going to be riding on, you could see if you look at the crank journals, they have a little fillet when they're machined. And that's going to ride in there. And what that does is retain oil in the rod better. And of course, if I put it in backwards, it's going to end up seizing up or it's not going to turn over. So that's an important thing to keep in mind when you're putting one of these babies together. And when you're also doing that, like on these, these Summit Alice pistons are great. You see that little dimple up there on the inside? If I look at the back, I'm going to just turn it over here. This is the back side. It doesn't have that little dimple. This dimple designates that that is the part of the piston that's at the bottom of the crank. The valve release would be, or sorry, not the crank, the block, if you're looking at the block. And the valve release would be up closer to the lifters, the lifter bores. That's the way you're supposed to assemble them. So you got to keep in mind, once you have them all on, and they all go one way, when you flip them around the other way, the valve release are in the proper side on the passenger side as they are on the driver's side, and they're also the... the journal um, is going to be in the correct position on the end of the rods so that's all good anyways just wanted to let you guys know i'm going to be doing some gap gapping right now and uh see how it goes and put the crank in and as i said before hopefully everything spins nice and smoothly and of course i'm going to take this crank off this table because with my luck it'll fall off and who knows what would happen even though it's forged i don't want to drop it <laughs> okay guys i'll be back with another video really soon like I said, I'm really excited. I finally got all the parts back. This is going to be fun putting together. And uh, come join me on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.